For accurate weather forecast and live news, subscribe to our Scamit Weather YouTube channel. Press the bell icon and do not miss on any of our weather news. Welcome to SkyMet. Uh, we have this uh, National Weather Bulletin forecast for uh, uh, next 24 hours uh, commencing 8th of July morning. The highlights of uh, this brief is uh, the likely revival of uh, monsoon which has been weak for the last many days now. Shortly it will happen and also appearance of uh, low pressure area in the Bay of Bengal which will happen after about uh, three days time. And it, in addition, likely advancement of the monsoon over the leftover parts of North India. To start with, uh, we come to the East and uh, Northeast India. We have been having the monsoon trough that was running very close to foothills, foothills of uh, eastern parts of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Sikkim, Sub Himalayan, West Bengal and adjoining area. Now we see, we see this cyclonic circulation is there which is marked over parts of uh, uh, Chhattisgarh and adjoining region. But then the trough line we see which was earlier running close to the foothills has come down now. It has shifted uh, southward. Okay, It's no more running closer to the foothills of Bihar. What will happen with this now? That rainfall activity will uh, become a little mild over parts of Bihar as it has been having earlier very intense, particularly closer to the foothills. Light to moderate rainfall only is expected over parts of Bihar, Jharkhand and even West Bengal also will have similar activity along with Northeast India. Over parts of Bihar, earlier which was very, very intense along the foothills starting from Champaran, Sitamadi, Madhubani and Madhepura going right up to Purnia uh, and uh, uh, Araria, Kishan Ganj Katihar. This will shift a little south now Southern parts of Bihar, inclusive uh, of uh, 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 Munger, uh, Nevada, uh, these are the pockets uh, which are which are going to have uh, rainfall. The southern parts. Then, along with that, the parts of uh, uh, Jharkhand also, inclusive of uh, Jamshedpur, Ranchi, Bokaro, Danbad, Dumka, Pakur. This is the pocket adjacent to West Bengal region and over West Bengal area. We have rainfall generally uh, spread out over the state as such, right from Malda, Bankura, uh, Bardwan, and then uh, coming down to even Shantiniketan and then southern parts. The capital city, even Kolkata, will have some rains with this. Northeastern parts, in the coming days, the rainfall activity will reduce now as this cyclonic circulation with this uh, 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 feature which is formed. It is bringing some easterly streams over northeast India and subsequently when the low pressure area forms which is likely on about 11th or so in the Bay of Bengal, again the southeastly or easterly streams will be predominantly marked over northeast India and the rainfall activity will reduce. It will be light to moderate, that will continue but the heavy rainfall activity will take leave from that region. Coming to the uh, northern parts now, no significant feature once again. Even the western disturbance which was earlier over parts of Jammu Kashmir Ladakh has uh, moved further eastward. It's clearing that area now. A feeble trough is extending from that as we see across the uh, hills uh, of Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and then coming down to uh, West Uttar Pradesh before it dips down to that cyclonic circulation. So therefore nothing significant is going to happen in these 24 hours over the northern parts inclusive of Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan including all the hilly states, Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, Uttarakhand and Himachal and Delhi also will not see anything very significant, uh, isolated uh, thunderstorm activity that's quite possible before the monsoon advances, that advances likely to me it appears more on 11th, possibly it may show its presence a day earlier, 10th also the activity can start but more probably predominantly it could be 11th and the rains could be seen thereafter, 11th, 12th, 13th of July for Delhi adjoining areas. Temperatures in the absence of uh, any significant system will continue to rise. They already they are close to 40 degree in Delhi and that trend will continue. Yes, as the monsoon comes closer, stream comes closer, they will drop. And uh, they will drop even by the end of this week itself, we will see the temperatures are dropping to just about 34, 35 degree over Delhi and most other parts also over Punjab and Haryana. Coming to uh, the, the, the central parts of the country now, yes, 
activity is going to pick up now. We can have increased amount of rainfall activity starting Orissa, Chhattisgarh, and then Maharashtra. Uh, Gujarat will be one pocket where it will take a little further uh, some time before it picks up. But in these 24 hours, as we see, this circulation is there. This will give some rain thunder shower over parts of Odisha also. Chhattisgarh, the southern parts of Chhattisgarh, inclusive of uh, uh, Bastar, uh, uh, Dumka. Uh, 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 this, is, this is the belt. Sukma, Dastar, uh, Baksar, Dumka, uh, Dalton Ganj, uh, Dantewada, sorry. Uh, that is the pocket which will have uh, uh, more rainfall. And adjacent to that, even parts of uh, Vidarbh region, Vidarbh and Maratwada. In Vidarbh, uh, Washim, uh, uh, Nagpur, uh, Chandrapur, uh, Yotmal, this is the pocket which we'll have and then spilling over to Maratwada having Boldana, Parbani, Bead, this is the pocket which will have rain and thundershower activity. It will spread even over parts of Madhya Maharashtra but remain light. Sangli, Stara, Kolapur, Sholapur, uh, even including Pune, Nasik and all, we should have a light, light activity. Konkan coast is going to pick up activity shortly, if not in these 24 hours coming, 48 hours and thereafter, including Mumbai will have a spike in the rainfall activity, becoming heavier after about 4-5 days, once again resuming typical Mumbai rains coming up in, the, in, in, in this week itself, possibly by the weekend we will see some heavy rains over that area. The southern parts of the country, uh, parts of uh, Telangana can see uh, some good rains. As we see, the trough is extending from this circulation, running across uh, Telangana and then going further down across parts of uh, Karnataka. So Telangana, uh, northern parts particularly, inclusive of uh, Adilabad, Mahbub Nagar, uh, uh, right up to Medak, uh, Warangal, uh, uh, capital city Hyderabad, uh, these pockets will see uh, some good rain and thunder shower activity parts of Karnataka, particularly North Interior Karnataka, inclusive of Gulbarga, Raj, Bellari, uh, uh, extending then further up to Darwad and then South Interior Karnataka, including part of uh, parts of uh, Bangalore, uh, uh, Hassan, uh, Chandrapur also, uh, uh, not Chandrapur, the, the, the Chamraj Nagar, uh, this is the pocket which will, Chitradurg also will have some rain and thunder shower activity. Coastal parts, Karnataka, this activity is going to pick up, including over Mangalore, da, uh, Karwar, and then coastal parts of even Kerala also will see some increase in the activity in the coming days. The only mild activity or uh, nearly silent will be the state of uh, Tamil Nadu, not much expected in these 24 hours also. It uh, remains same even subsequent 24 hours. This is the weather brief uh, for uh, uh, the next uh, 24 hours. Keep uh, connecting uh, with uh, SkyMet for latest and further information. Thank you. Keep your family healthy by downloading SkyMet AQI app and tracking air pollution of your location in real time.